Please enjoy this short video celebrating <clears throat> 30 years of excellence in academic and scientific knowledge transfer, communication and collaboration, especially honoring the founder, Eric J. Rigsby. During a long time of friendship, interactions and collaborations, there are always stories to tell. There is a start. For us, it was a resident and a mentor. There was a continuation as colleagues and uh, friends. But we all, Eric and I, met at one of our homes as a working place, which is Mayo Clinic, where we enjoyed our time together. And uh, uh, it was a fantastic place <coughs> to uh, work at. And, and we both enjoyed it and had a good time. In the beginning, that paint conference was just that. It was a paint conference. I remember it was a wonderful conference. I was a speaker. I don't recall specifically what I was speaking about, but uh, Eric did such a wonderful job getting together many, many pain specialists and experts from around the country. It's been a privilege and a pleasure to participate over uh, at least a decade and also to get to know Eric a bit and to see how this wonderful operation grew from almost nothing. And now at this point, we could say, borrow from Faulkner to say that looking at the small beginnings and its growth, I think that the Napa Pain Conference will not only continue to exist, but it will prevail. That conference has grown in my mind from a pure pain conference to really a, a discourse and scientific endeavor in both pain medicine and neuromodulation. It isn't just neuromodulation, you know, it's psychology, pharmacology, surgery, uh, regional anesthesia. It is a perfect mixture of science, business, pain medicine, and what's the most cutting edge aspect of care. The other thing that kind of impressed me is, uh, you know, the people that he decided to invite. It was. Uh, very high quality and uh, so uh, I was I was very impressed. You've put together this wonderful uh, uh, program year after year of cutting edge topics. Dr. Grigsby was one of the first folks who really brought together uh, doctors and practitioners and professionals from many many disciplines. I distinctly remember him bringing a DEA agent in way before the opioid crisis. Uh, to talk with doctors about the DEA's perspective, and I thought that was very, very, uh, very innovative. You incorporate a wide breadth of, um, of topics, including basic science uh, discussions, uh, all the way over to diversity and inclusion in pain medicine. I think that the addition of, um, of, the, of the awards, um, the addition of the Nobel uh, talk has been an, in, an incredible addition to education and pain medicine. Uh, hanging out with Nobel Prize winners and future Nobel Prize winners is extraordinarily special. This is uh, actually a picture from the pre presenting of the lecture in August 2013. But Unexpectedly, things happen after the tour. Some secret and hidden preparations were uncovered. And I wonder what, what's going on. Eric announced a most prestigious recognition, the inauguration of the Lindahl Lecture. I almost cried. And I think, what, what is this? <laughs> kind of an award 
it was it of course a great honor the follow-up with annual Linda lectures was discussed and decided the 10 lectures so far <clears throat> would start with May 2013 to be continued with Robert Langer, Bob Langer from the MIT in, uh, in Boston, to be continued with the Nobel Prize winner Bruce Beutler, Kevin Tracy uh, with, uh, from uh, New York, Long Island, and my friend Warren Sapel from Harvard Medical School. And then Jennifer Doudna, his podcast uh, uh, Nobel Prize winner a couple of years later. To continue with you know, a friend of mine, Svante Pebel, also a Nobel Prize winner, a little after 2019. Larry Abbott from New York, Elizabeth Blackthorn, a Nobel Prize winner a couple of years earlier. And Katalin Kariko, who was in fact the inventor and discoverer of the mRNA uh, vaccine before the COVID-19. Uh, so there have been Nobel laureates appear, and I've been very privileged to be seated at a wonderful dinner between the rows of vines of grapes from the vineyard uh, next to Nobel uh, laureate Dr. Blackburn, who discovered and uh, studied telomeres. But I've also seen, in addition to preclinical science, the very early pioneer results from the area of neurostimulation uh, embodied by many others, such as Elliot Cranes or um, Dr. Pori, uh, among many, many others, too numerous to name. So it's a microcosm, but it's a super high class microcosm. Even me, you know, I've been, I, I was doing clinic until I retired um, about eight years ago. I had been seeing patients, like I said, since 1974 at UCSF in a university and academic center. Um, but I still learned a lot from the meeting, which, you know, uh, that was impressive. This has been such a fantastic meeting over the entire course of 30 years. I just remember, I just remember so fondly um, uh, anticipating those meetings and, and looking forward to them. There's a lot of meetings and there's a lot of courses and there's a lot of continuing medical education opportunities online. Uh, but I don't think anything really compares to this Napa Pain Conference. I've attended uh, lots of conferences, but very few in which I have such vivid memories of, of not just the talks, but the experiences and the socialization, often uh, with a glass of wine. I love the uh, relaxed atmosphere and uh, the ability to uh, talk to my fellow faculty and to the attendees. It was very, very uh, collegial, very enjoyable, and uh, you, you could have uh, meals, uh, with people at the meeting, uh, just, just, uh, I loved it. Obviously I loved it because I kept coming back. I think it is no coincidence, uh, that the meetings, um, you run, um, reflect the warmth, uh, and the generosity that, um, uh, you radiate in, uh, all your interactions with people. It could be, uh, <clears throat> A little bit of a, of a problem if we got too personal because Eric and I, we have had great fun. I've known Dr. Grigsby probably since the late um, 80s. I know he trained at Mayo when I was at Harvard and uh, I believe our paths crossed on the on the uh, uh, committee and lecture circuit in pain medicine in those early days. Eric, I would like to address a personal note to you. You and I met uh, in the end of the 1980s, beginning of the 1990s, at the World Famous Mayo Clinic. It also 
cliff. We really uh, had a great time. And you were uh, given a mentor who, who sp spoke Swinglish. And, uh, and I guess you, you, you wonder how, how, how can I be uh, uh, tutored by, by this uh, new Swedish guy who came to the Mayo Clinic, although he was a, a, a sort of a specialist and uh, was recruited by Mayo. But you had patients here. So you saw that we had an honest relationship from the very start. We did difficult things uh, on the clinical side. We developed some parts on the, the research side to gain new knowledge uh, to improve the treatment of patients. We have been fast friends over 30 years. I've watched Eric grow from a clinician to a true scientist, and I'm very pleased about my relationship with him. And then most importantly, the ability to hang out with my friends, have a nice glass of wine, and really enjoy ourselves has been extraordinarily special in my life. Thank you for that. I want to really uh, thank Dr. Grisby for the work that he's done to help this conference evolve into, you know, one of the great experiences for clinicians interested in helping people with chronic pain. And uh, keep up the good work. Very, very impressive. To you, Eric, it's been a, a, a great, great, more than 30 years that you and I have been together. Uh, I can say that um, I have a lot of friends in neuromodulation, I have a lot of friends outside of neuromodulation. And I can say that to you, Eric, um, I can truly say that um, I value our relationship amongst the top five in my world. So thank you very much for that. It's nice to have the opportunity to say thanks and to you know, give back a little bit, considering how much uh, Eric's done. I appreciate him a lot. I tell him that. And so, <laughs> Happy 30th anniversary for the Napa Pain Conference. What an exciting adventure this has been. Uh, I always look forward to the Napa Pain Conference and uh, wish that you have another 30 years of successful meetings and looking forward to in-depth discussions with you and the rest of the attendees uh, at the upcoming meeting. Congratulations. And thanks so much for all your leadership and advice. Uh, see you soon. Let me end by making my statement, which is happy birthday, 30th birthday to the Napa Pain Conference that's helped so many people directly and indirectly. <laughs> happy anniversary, 30th anniversary for the Napa Pain Conference. Eric, happy 30th anniversary to you.